All right, welcome. If you're watching this video, you may be having a problem setting up your new visible phone service. I'll have another video that gives my complete review on the visible service. But in this video, I'm gonna be talking about what to do if you're trying to activate your new visible service and it will not work on your phone. All right, so before you ordered service, hopefully you went to the visible website and you checked to make sure that your phone is compatible. And that's really easy to do. If you go to their website and click on the bring your phone link, check compatibility, you can check the IMEI number. And that's really the only way to do it. Um, you can enter the details and it really only works with uh, iPhones. In that case, for everything else, it will want your IMEI number. Now, I will say that your phone does not necessarily have to be compatible on the visible website, but it's a good place to start. Basically, you need a phone that will run on Verizon and it needs to be unlocked. Most Verizon phones are unlocked. So I actually had a problem when I was act trying to activate service on my unlocked Galaxy S8. This is a unbranded U1 model which means it will work on any carrier in the United States, including Verizon, AT&T, T-Mobile, Sprint, etc. So when I first tried to activate service on this phone, I was getting no signal. I followed all the steps carefully. Basically what you have to do, you have to go through the prompts and what you do is you download the visible app You'll sign in to the account that you created. If you're porting a number, it will tell you the status of your port. You click activate service. Uh, you, it'll tell you when to insert your SIM card. You simply hit a button that says activate. You power your phone, you restart it, and it's supposed to just work. If you have an iPhone that is updated, it will most likely just work. If you have an Android phone that is updated, it should work also. The reason I say it needs to be updated is each Android update brings with it carrier updates. So if you do not have an updated phone, that might be a reason that it cannot activate the visible service. This is a relatively new uh, service, even though it just runs on the Verizon network and is owned by Verizon. It has very different settings for APN values to run on its network. So I'm going to actually run through how to activate for those of you. It's very simple. So we get our FedEx overnight delivery. This is what you get in the package, a nano SIM and a SIM removal key. All right, so go ahead and take the key off, get our SIM card out. I'm going to show you how it's supposed to activate. So we'll take our SIM card out of our iPhone here. Insert our visible SIM. We're gonna go ahead and dismiss that for now. All right, so we'll go to activate service. You will sign in using your account details. Okay. Then we get to this screen. Would you like to set up Touch ID? Maybe later. Okay. Go to activation. See, here's where it says your status. Okay. Go to activation. All right. Your credit card information. Do you want to do auto pay? We're going to do auto pay. And then we click activate. Okay, last step. Restart your phone. Okay, so we'll restart our phone. Your credit card is actually not charged by Visible until you activate. So when you place your order online, say you're doing a number, port, whatever, it will not activate. All right, you can see on top of the phone, it says Visible LTE. We are running uh, with four bars. Everything appears good. We'll make a test call. Okay. Phone is working. 
All right, so that's how it's supposed to go. The problem is what happens if that doesn't work and you run into problems with activation? Well, I went through the Visible app and there is no way to call and talk to anybody at Visible. You have to go through a chat session. So I went through, go up here, live chat. I chatted with someone for a while about the issue I was having, obviously on Wi-Fi. Uh, they actually ended up calling me after making some suggestions, and I talked to a very nice girl on the phone. Um, long story short, we were unable to figure it out. We could not get my Galaxy S8 activated. It said it was compatible with their IMEI checker, and it should activate. It's an unlocked, you know, carrier-free Galaxy S8 just like any unlocked Samsung phone. So I actually figured out the problem on my own and I guess that this was the problem. Uh, it was an APN settings issue. Now if you search on the web for uh, visible APN settings, you'll see only a few posts about it and most of them got it wrong. There was one article that I found on Reddit that actually got it right. And there are four different sets of APN settings that actually have to be entered on what we will call incompatible phones. Now, the reason why my S8 did not update correctly was because the software stopped with Android 9. There hasn't been any updates. Uh, Visible came out after this update was done. The phone just didn't know what to do with the SIM card. So we have to actually manually tell it what to do with the SIM card. And this will come into play mostly with Android phones, many Android phones for that matter. In fact, I had a Cricut unlocked S9 that I had to do the same thing to. I was able to flash the S9 with the updated firmware, and then it was able to read the SIM card by itself. But what I'm going to go through today is showing you how to enter these APN settings to fix your visible service. All right, so like I said, the, the customer service representative with Visible, although very nice, was not helpful. And she had to escalate uh, my problem to what they called an engineer who was supposed to be in contact with me within 24 to 48 hours. Well, at this point, my wife's phone was not working. Uh, she was getting ready to go on a trip. We had no cell phone service for her and that just wasn't acceptable to me. So like I said, I figured it out myself and I figured I need to share this information with uh, those of you out there who may be having the same problem. So I'm going to go ahead and simulate that situation. I'm going to put this visible SIM into my Galaxy S8. So then pop open SIM tray. You can see no service and that is what you will stay um, on your unlocked phones you may get a couple bars uh, but don't be fooled that could be just another network so if we go in here to settings connections this is in my case on a galaxy phone other android phones we assume are mobile networks access point names you'll see this is what happens on a unlocked phone when you put in a SIM card that it doesn't understand, you'll get a bunch of different options. These are all different Verizon um, MVNOs, but unfortunately Visible is not in here. So we have to add custom APNs. And unlike most services where you just add a single APN, there are different APNs with Visible to control different functions. There's an APN just for internet. There's one just to connect the phone to make it be able to be used. There's one for MMS. Um, so I'm gonna show you how to do that. Uh, if you click on the link below in my description, there'll be uh, a link to my website that has um, a text of all the different um, APNs that you can pull up maybe on your computer. That way it'll be a lot easier to enter this information in your phone while you're doing it. Okay, so. Go back into our APN settings. Okay, we're gonna click add. And then we're gonna start with our internet sim. I like to start from the bottom up. So the first one, we will call this 
visible. Double click a spell. Visible internet. We'll go down to the APN. Type it in just like I do. V S B L I N T E R N E T. V S B L Internet, all capital. Leave the proxy blank. Scroll down to the next setting. It's your MMSC. Next is 311, 480, that's correct. Authentication type, leave that blank. APN type, so we need to change this. Default, D-U-N, comma, S-U-P-L. If you do not have an unlocked phone, it probably will not let you enter the D-U-N protocol. You need to have an unlocked phone to do this. Okay. Right. Other thing we need to change here, APN protocol, IPv4, IPv6. And then mobile virtual network operator type, we will change to GID. And then this right here, value, it should input that automatically. But you want to make sure it says BAE1 and then the rest zeros, just like that. And we will hit these three bars up here. If you do not do this and you just back out, you will lose everything you did. So hit the three bars, hit save. Okay, now we're going to enter a total of four APNs, but the one you want selected, this is important. The one you want selected is this first one we just put in. That's why I do this one first, the visible internet. So go ahead and select it now, okay? And that will get your data connection. We're going to click add and we're going to go on to the next one. The name, we'll call this visible IMS. Okay, the APN. We're going to do it just like this V S B L I M S. And you'll notice that on my website, what I have listed for the APNs. If there isn't one of these values listed, that means just skip it and move on. So the next thing I have listed is the MCC, which is 311, already fell in, MNC 480, APN type. I'm going to change this, get rid of this. Type IMS, comma, IA. There's no spaces. Hit OK. APN protocol. IPv4 slash IPv6, APN roaming protocol, IPv6. Okay, we'll go down. Next thing, make sure it's still GID and your mobile vir virtual network operator value is the same. Three bars, save. See, now it's been added. We do not click on it though. Leave the visible internet clicked. Go on, add the next one. This one will be called Visible CBS. Okay, APN VSB LAPP. Okay, leave all this blank. We'll go down to MMSC. Just like that. Go down 311, 480. 
APN type, get rid of default, we'll type CBS, MMS, hit OK. APN protocol, IPv4, IPv6, leave that blank, make sure GID is still selected, and that that number is the same down there. Again, we're going to hit save. All right, we got one more to go. This is the next one, this is the important one that actually gets a cell service on the network. So we will call this one Visible F. O T A. Okay, APN, all capital, V S B L A D M I N. All right, go all the way down. Make sure we're still 311, 480. APN type. This is, changes to F O T A. Okay. APN protocol, IPv4, IPv6. Keep going. GID, make sure that's still selected and your next value is the same. And we'll click save. Okay, so now that we have all four in here, make sure visible internet is checked. And now it's time to restart your phone. We'll go ahead and do a hard power off and then power it back on. Okay, so you notice right away, it says visible on the top of the screen, LTE, and we have five bars of service. Same thing, make a test call. Make sure that we're working. Send a text message. Get on the internet. Make sure that everything's working. And that should be all it takes to get you up and running. The reason this works is because normally on, let's say an iPhone or an updated Samsung, uh, it will automatically change those settings for you. And even though if you go to your APNs, you will not see those four different APNs but they are there and they are hidden from you on purpose, okay? That is what it will look like. So again, I hope that this video helps you out. Uh, there really was nothing out there about this, so I wanted to, except that really that one Reddit uh, article that really covered this really well, so shout out to them, whoever wrote that. Um, hopefully this helps you out, and if it does, be sure to like the video. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. Again, there'll be a link below to my website that has just a uh, static image of this. That way you can just follow along with me as I enter them in the video. It'll make it a little bit easier for you. And I'll also try to stick them in the, uh, the comments or in the uh, description below also. All right. So hopefully it helped you out. Until next time, we'll see you later. And I will be having a review video shortly also.